And as you look at across here, I mean, it just looks like a big bay. And, it, and it's, you know, there's a bay with several pockets and little channels through here, but it's very, it's full of hydrilla right now. So trying to find areas that you can get a bite in, basically where the fish is gonna set up for an ambush point or where they're basically just sitting there staging in that grass because it's kind of cold this morning is tough. So what I'm doing is I'm using electronics. Here's a great example. You can see the ditch right there. There's the top of the grass, how it drops off right there and then flattens off. So I'm looking at my traditional sonar, my mapping, and how my colors are set up so that I can find a little deeper drain, a little deeper stretch to stay in to throw this jerk bait across it. And then as I get in there, using panoptics to try to identify gaps in the holes in front of me, out 40, 50, 100 feet, so that I can you know, target those with cast, go down, twitch, twitch, and then pause that jerk bait in there. That's a big one. That's gonna be a big one right there. He took a line and he took off. Oh, he's in the grass. Oh yeah. There's a good one. He's got a face full of hooks. Come here. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. There's a fat one. I mean, he crushed. That old jerk bait. Out there, right in the middle of the drain. Get the pliers again on a straight pause. Boom. I mean, it's warming up. Water temperatures came up about a degree now. That may be making a difference on why these fish are hitting it a little harder this morning. You know, they were barely just ticking every bait we threw. A lot better there. Boy, that is as fun as it gets right there. I mean, that was like hooking a freight train right there. You know, I've had two or three of them now that just nailed it. You know, we talked about earlier in the day, everything was just there. Now, they're actively hitting it. I can feel them they're taking it away from me. And as soon as that one, you know, I pause it, the bait's just sitting neutral out there. It's just sitting there like this. And then all of a sudden, boop, it's gone. I mean, I knew right away we had one with a little bit better shoulders that time. We're just fishing down the middle of the drain. You know, I'm using my mapping to basically tell me, you know, Here's where I need to be because I haven't fished this cove here in, you know, since last year we came over here sight fishing. And, uh, but I've got my mapping set up with the reds and the greens and the yellows so that I can actually say, here's where the ditches are and the drains should be to give me a better, better feel. And then I'll scan around with the pan optics. And it, it just helps you put your boat in a better spot where you're not just always throwing towards the bank because right now the bank is covered in hydrilla and these fish are out on the edge of it. I got him that time. Woo! <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> I mean, they're just slapped, banging, and nipping at it all along. <laughs> all I can do is start laughing at this point here. It just when you get them going and you start catching fish consistently, that just never gets old. <laughs> I had two bites on that cast. I think he both times just kind of come up and licked the tail of it. And then that second time he licked it and we got the hook in him. Regardless of how many we catch or don't catch us this day, we have had a lot of bites. And it started off really, you know, scattered by here, scattered by there, very light bite. Now that, you know, we've got into the afternoon, a few scattered clouds, water temperatures warmed up about two degrees, they're really you know, starting to fire, as you would expect. I mean, there's, you know, we laugh that there's no, we don't want to get out on the water at eight o'clock because we want to fish till dark a lot of times this time of the year. But I mean, that's just kind of my mentality. I'd rather be out here when it's a little warmer and fish are going to be a little more active in the afternoons versus the summertime when, you know, I may want to be out here at daybreak. But, you know, the day we went and ate breakfast and piddled and got on the water late and it's paying off at a lot of late afternoon bites. Maybe another big one. He's dogging like a good one. I don't know 
He just hooked, I think he's hooked on the side of the mouth. Yeah, he's hooked on the side of the mouth. Easy. Easy. That's one of those ones that just came up and kind of nipped the tail. Bit it like that. And he just kind of nipped at it. All of them are good. 